Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for yelling at you. Uh, but we're really excited about this episode for some reason. Uh, don't mind that blank space because uh, homegirl's right here. But um, welcome to the first episode of All About the Shoes. It's me and Tony. Hello. And we're going to talk about our favorite shoes in the doll room. So this is episode one. Um, since Monster High has like the biggest roster of dolls and has the most amount of dolls that I have in the room, we're going to try to divvy this up kind of like where we have enough about an enough amount of each dolls for every episode mm -hmm. without getting redundant because, you know, shoes do get repeated throughout every line. Yeah. It's an inevitable thing. Um, but we're going to like just talk about our favorite shoes currently. So we each picked two Monster High dolls. Uh, one Ever After High doll each, one LOL doll, and one Rainbow High doll that we really... Rainbow slash Shadow High. Oh, we both picked Shadow High dolls. Oops. <laughs> um, but we both picked dolls that we, you know, we wanted to talk about their shoes. Like, mm -hmm. they have, like, killer shoes. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to start from left to right or go into Monster High first and then into After After High and then into LOL and then into Rainbow? I think like that. Okay. So let's start with um, Rochelle. So Tony picked Scaris Rochelle. Mm -hmm. And these are her shoes. Incredible. You need to come closer. So what is it about these shoes that you love? I just think that there's like something so elegant and beautiful about like the way they drew the design on the shoes and the way that it so eloquently becomes the heel of the shoe. Yeah. Like, effortless. These are yeah. effortless shoes. Like, I was so pissed when they repeated these the first time because I was <laughs> like, no, this is like a movie line shoe. Like, it's just this perfect, beautiful shoe mm -hmm. that, like, like you said, it's elegant mm -hmm. and the filigree designed, like, with all the swoops that like interlock with each other. Mm -hmm. It's so Parisian. It's Parisian. <laughs> and I don't know, like these are a really special pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. They're one of Rochelle's best. Mm -hmm. Even though her base shoes are also bomb. Uh, her base shoes are definitely going to be introduced into the series. Don't even worry. About <laughs> yeah. that. But we were like killing ourselves. We were like, what the hell do we do? What shoes do we pick yeah. that are worthy? And I was like, you know what? I want this to be a series so we don't have to pick all the things, all the shoes that we think are the best. Yeah. Just shoes that were, like, particularly calling us today. Mm -hmm. And these uh, these don't have any painted details or anything, but they are just a solid pale pink. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't need the color because, like, this is what her outfit looks like. Yeah. And she's got tights, so that kind of distracts the eye a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. They're just... Incredible. A gorgeous set of heels. Mm -hmm. Like some of the filigree interlocks and becomes hearts right here. Mm -hmm. Like right there. Like it's just beautiful. I think they're just so pretty that I, like, I, I was like, I have to. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Thing. The heel, like it looks like clouds mm -hmm. almost, like cotton candy clouds. Mm -hmm. They are so beautiful. The, the team at Monster High really killed it with these. Yeah, for sure. Okay, then let's do Draculara art class. Um, this Draculara is a complete idiot. Um, <laughs> these are hands down some of the best shoes they've ever come up with. Like, it looks like wrought iron chain meal. Like, it is gorgeous up here mm -hmm. with like the skelet details and then the crisscross. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't say it, guys. Hiking. Hiking. <laughs> Um, crisscross paint brushes with the pink paint splatter mm -hmm. that like droop and like this is paint because mm -hmm. this is a paint tube like you can just tell it's like curled up yeah it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's very reminiscent of like the opening sequence for like Mulan and Hercules clouds yeah mm -hmm. but like I feel like it like Helps with everyone's. I feel like a lot of people think that Dracula is already Japanese, mm -hmm. and I don't know. This like gives me a very Japanese like smoke dragon, like like when yeah, first, yeah. Then that's like not even the best like uh, example of it, but like you guys know what I mean. Like mm. 
and a lot of Chinese are like that art of like that like wave mm-hmm. with like the the tidal waves like yeah. curling on themselves. It looks like that. So Peter, so pretty. And it's got like studs and then the skelettes that like are just going all around, and then they go over here. There's no skelettes on this side, but the detailing goes all around. I don't even know what they would paint this with. Like, I'm not bothered by the plain white. Yeah. Like, I think it looks I think really it would nice. Look cluttered if it was like a steel. Or yeah, I like it looks like steel, mm. but like it's like a like a bone white like color. It's mm. so nice. Mm. So this is my pick, and now we're gonna do Tony's second pick for Monster High. He didn't care. He wanted these girlies. Mm. Uh, these are uh, Donna the Dance Claudine's pumps. I think they're so pretty like they're very unique and uh correct me if i'm wrong but i'm almost 100 percent sure that these are in a single use shoe mm-hmm. like these shoes were not used ever beyond this point there's like little how, opening. yeah like mm-hmm. this is like supposed to be like the threading of the shoe you know yeah like and then there's a zipper in the front that's like oh so good like the details while subtle, are amazing. Yeah, and these are one of the like the metallic chrome shoes mm. that they did. They didn't do this very often, but when they did it, it was very good. All the Dawn of the Dance dolls have amazing shoes. this sort of uh, metallic sheen on them. Mm. Here's the heel. It's a very real-world applicable... <laughs> Sorry, someone just got home and they're being annoying. But this is a very real world applicable heel. Like it looks like you could actually like find them somewhere. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Mm, I think they're so pretty. And then my second pick for Monster High was Scarily Ever After slash Scary Tales slash Threaderella Frankie. Mm. Um these shoes are insane. I could rent a grant I could write a symphony for these shoes. <laughs> the open scissor heel, mm-hmm. like this, like oh, the threading, like this shoe. Oh. It's so good. This being like thread, and here's a needle, needle. at the very top. The baby blue that t- that ties into her outfit. Um, don't worry, I'm trying not to show dolls that I haven't shown in a retrospective yet. Mm-hmm. So here's the other side. Her this side has the the needle. And like the red thread that's like weaving them together. Like it's just like yes, this biatch made her shoes at home. Yep. But she also made better shoes than uh Kristen Louis Vuitton. Like <laughs> I don't know what else to say about these shoes besides the fact that they're excellent. They're so good. Camp. Camp, 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 <laughs> camp, camp. Okay, uh let's do your ever after high pack. Ooh, my gross arm. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> This is Tony's Ever After High Pick. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name of this line. Book club? Book something. Um, it's this kitty. There's a Lizzie and a Ginger in this line. I cannot remember what it's called. Oof. I remember I but before I picked what doll I wanted, I was like, oh, these look interesting. And we look at, take a closer look at them. And I realized what they were. And I was like, the Cheshire I Cat. I think these are the ones I want to show. Yeah. <laughs> they are Cheshire Cats mm-hmm. in the front, grinning mm-hmm. with but their I... tail interlocked with a book that has her, the letter of her first name, Kitty, mm-hmm. right there. And then the other hand has some playing cards. Or no, a book. A book. Just a book. No, just an open book. Mm-hmm. So they're two very different heels. Like, they're not, like, the same heel. Like, they always do that. Like, just gets reversed. Yeah. They are two distinctly pair... Different pairs of shoes. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, sculpting in the shoe. That That's, like, an unnecessary detail that, like, no one is even going to, like, notice or care about. Mm-hmm. But I care about it, and I noticed it. So thank you, Team Ever After High. Mm-hmm. And this is the other side. I, they're just so cute. Yeah. They're very... Oh, they're but like on the back, so- look! On the back, it's got kitty signatures. Oh. A K and a Y, kitty. Oh, wait, no, that's a K. Mm. Sorry. Mm. No. And so, this is really good. Mm. Ooh. 
And then my Ever After High pick was Signature Maddie. Very good. Um, these teacup heels with like the painted details. The uh, these are always confused me because I was like, that's like a teacup handle, but I'm like, I think it's just supposed to be painted ceramic. <laughs> like these heels are gorgeous. This is like on here since I bought her. Yeah. Like nine years ago. <laughs> this uh, rubber band. It has not been broken. She's she's living, girl. Yeah, I wish that they had had the foresight to paint this, but like it's sculpted in, so I don't know how hard that would have been. Mm -hmm. Um, but like it's really, really gorgeous. They're really beautiful pair of shoes. Yeah. Like all this filigree right here, like gorgeous pair of shoes. But I love, like, a big, fat pump in the front. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, like, my jam. I love that, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move... Oh. Rochelle. Does that, was that Rochelle that fell? <laughs> she fell all the way down. She's gonna stay there until the end of the video. <laughs> Unless you want to, like, climb underneath me, then that's fine. We're gonna move on to um, G, and this is Prism. I don't know why. I was split between... Sweets and Candy Licious. Mm. But then I saw Prism shoes and I was like, these are borderline hideous. <laughs> they but, shouldn't work. But they are very much Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. And if you want to get me to cry, just play the opening of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> just play Simple and Clean by Utada Hikaru and I yeah. will start crying. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I just feel like spotlighting these. They're a brand new doll. They just came out a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. And there's like heart zippers right here. So this is a zipper mm -hmm. sculpted in with like the pull tab being hearts. But the one in the center is a broken heart. Shoes. It's the same shoes on both sides. It's like, like there's nothing different about them. Yeah. But then there's like a buckle in the front and then more zipper detailing. That's very yeah. It's so, 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 so cute. Yeah, I think they're amazing. But OMG have such tiny feet. Yeah. <laughs> like this is just like a simple down like a simple heel with a zipper down the back like that is such a huge like yeah there's not really that much that I can say about these heels yeah but they're we they're just really they cute and I really want to talk about them because I haven't seen anyone like mention them mention that the, like, she really is a callback to Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. I feel I mean she's a Japanese doll so yeah she's gorgeous and then Tony's pick for again. Uh, you guys know me. I don't know how to edit, so this is obviously staying in the video. Um, me freaking out to put her over here, so I don't have to look at her ever again. <laughs> so Tony picked trendsetter, trendsetter shoes. Um, so cute. Yeah, they're really sweet. Uh, Very like how do I do this? Can you just take her shoe off? So we can just look at it. I wish Shunsetter came with two pairs of shoes. Because this shoe is like so wildly detailed for no reason. Okay, never mind. Okay, he he okay, he fixed it. So this is Trendsetter's shoe. It's the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter. It's like hot pink and silver, and there's a crown in the back. Kind of so cute. And then this is kind of like a tower. Like it's so so cute. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make sense because she's... Trendsetter is very, very much like Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie rooted. Yeah. Like real life, real world rooted. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember shoes looking like this in the early 2000s, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Not complaining. Not complaining. It's got like the swoop in the front. Mm -hmm. And a buckle like here. All the best girlies had this. Yeah. <laughs> So cute. I just think that they're... I was, like, looking at all the shoes, and I was like, I don't know. And I was like, what do your shoes look like again? I peeked. I was like, yeah. yeah they're a really adorable pair of heels. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to Rainbow High. Mm, I think those are better, so we're going to Natasha first. So Tony picked Natasha like from doll. Shadow High. This is Tony's favorite doll right now, currently, in the world. Um, I thought these were sculpted. Yeah. I thought that Nicole came with the fabric shoes. Mm. And I was like, there's no way that these are that these are like fabric. Yeah. 
like in the promotional imaging, I was like, that is a sculpted shoe. Like, yeah, like they, the, the rumples are too perfect. Yeah, I was like, that's too perfect. There's no way that they're going to be able to do that. And they did it. And everyone's complaining about the yellowing along the side because of the glue. I don't care. I literally could not care less. It's a fabric piece of shoe with a freaking plastic heel. Chunky. Like, let's just like... Ave so Maria. <laughs> yeah. I want, them. I want them back. They are... A gorgeous, gorgeous set of heels. Mm -hmm. And they're glitter encrusted, but like the glitter doesn't get on you. Yep. It, it did when like when you them take them when you when take you them, them uh, when you take them out of the box, the initial glitter fallout's kinda bad. Yeah. But then like the more you touch them, this glitter is here to stay. Yeah. And like look at those rumples. Like look at them. And this is like as high as they go. Mm -hmm. Like an inch beneath the like the knee. And, like, doesn't that look sculpted? I thought these were sculpted. <laughs> like, look at that. That looks so perfect. Mm -hmm. Oof. They knew what they were doing making those. Yeah, insanity. Mm -hmm. And then finally... Uh, I guess you can go back to your spot, Kitty. <laughs> uh, Heather Grayson. Heather Grayson's second pair of shoes. Ugh. We'll just, like admire the front it's just that the snake skin and it's very plain and you're like okay but it's got a very wide open face right here mm. i don't even want to talk about shoes I don't even <laughs> but like face mm. <laughs> sure you're like okay they're like this like sexy like lube tone pump you know and then like you raise her pants oh. just kidding there is sorry my phone was like i'm going to die Deal with it. Right there. There's straps. Mm -hmm. And then let me try to... Push this up because this is a moment. <laughs> so like... Uh, oh. My. God. So beautiful. It's like a corset in the back. Mm -hmm. If you guys know what shoes these are spoofing, because Rainbow High is very notorious for spoofing, like, literal real-world designers, mm. I would like to see the shoe that this is spoofing. Yeah. Because this... I was, like, ew, not in it for this pair of shoes at first. Yeah. And then I took them out of the box, and I was like, I want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> this pair of shoes is so... This. This Oh no, he's gay. He's got a lisp. Um, is insanity. Yeah. I wish they had a, like a, you know, the red heel, mm -hmm. like the yeah, red the under. Bottom. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that's Heather's shoe, and that's the shoe that I wanted to talk about in spotlight today. But welcome to the first episode of All About the Shoes. Let me know how you felt about this. If you want a second episode, I'm going to give it to you even if you don't. <laughs> but because that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, but let me know. Who do you think has the best shoes? Monster High, Ever After High, LOL, or Rainbow High? Mm -hmm. I think the very obvious winner is Monster High. <laughs> but um, maybe we should do that every episode. What is your favorite pair of shoes that has been presented here? Mine? Personally. Yeah. Personally, mine, Frankie's. Frankie's Threaderella shoes are my favorite shoes that are on display currently. I think I'd have to go with Natasha. Natasha, Natasha you love those boots because they're fabric. I want them. So let me know in the comments uh, of the girlies that we picked who has your favorite pair of shoes. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.